I like collecting from labels because every release gets better and better rather than listening to one artist and it's sort of hit or miss. Alienate is a label in Montreal, Canada and uh, it specializes mostly in avant-garde and noise artists, although it has particular interest in local artists, including the unicorns, which stick out like a sore thumb on the label. Yeah, usually there's a, a few odd albums in the mix, but I mean, it never really uh, grinds against the labels. Uh, Reputation. The first release on the label was by Japanese noise musician Mersbao, whose real name is Masami Akita. And, and his first, the first release on the label was his Akasha Gova album, which is a live set that's 76 minutes long in one track. Um, and that was started in 1996, the same year that Alienate was started by the two co-founders. Set Fire to Flames is a, a band in Montreal, but not in any particular uh, foreseeable destination. Their stuff is always instrumental, not a lot of singing. Um, they do make their albums, their first two anyway, or their last two, uh, were recorded. The first was recorded in a uh, derelict building that was scheduled to be demolished. And the second place was various other locations while they were staying awake for long hours during the night and also were in various levels of intoxication. Tanak is a U.S. band, and they were originally from Virginia Bay, Virginia. Um, but they most recently moved over to Florence, Italy, to take in the scenery, I suppose. And they haven't released a record on Alienate since their last album, Ardent Fever Fevers, even though they did release an EP on a different label. I forget the title's name though. And their stuff is a little more folky, but their four records on Alienate are kind of a, a mashing of different sort of styles. Their first record was Villa Claustrophobia, and they're dealing with heavy Middle Eastern themes. Uh, it's very drone heavy. Still, there is a, a folkishness about it. Um, 